Alright, hey guys, I got a new tutorial for you guys today. As you can probably tell, I have a new microphone. I talked about it on my uh, main channel. I'll have a link to my main channel in the description if you want to check it out and see what microphone I have. Um, oops. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to download. No, I forgot to tell you what this is. As you can probably guess by the title, we're going to be adding chapters to an MP4 video without having to re render it or anything. We're just going to straight up import those chapters. So, it's going to be great. Trust me. So uh, go ahead to this website, drax.coplex, blah, 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 all this stuff. Go ahead and click the recommended download, drax.msi. It's an installer. Uh, once it's done downloading, I already have it downloaded and installed. Um, so go ahead and let it finish downloading and run the installer. And then you should be able to find this program in your start menu. You might have to type in Drax manually if for, for some reason it didn't show up. Regardless, once you have Drax open, uh, you can go ahead and use it to open up your mp4 file you want to edit. This doesn't work with every single mp4 file. I found it has some trouble with Windows Movie Maker encoded ones. But your general mp4 file should have no problem being opened. Let's go ahead and open one. As you can see here, it's not showing any files in this folder. Which I can assure you is very populated. That's because by default it uses um, it searches for .mp4. M4V files, which is the exact same thing as MP4 except with a different extension. So if you wanted, you could just rename your files .m4v instead of .mp4, but that's a lot of extra work. So what I'd say is click this and click all files, then it will show you all the files that are available. So let's go ahead and find one. Uh, let's do this media server video. This is uh, how to make a Raspberry Pi a media server. Uh, that's on my main channel. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and do this one. Take a few seconds to open. As you see, this isn't your normal video editor. This just has the um, properties of it. So if you wanted, you could put um, all this information in here. Like if you want to change the what you have your encoded tool as, we can make this a uh, happy face. Because open broadcast software is cool. That's what I'm using now. Uh, here's the main thing we want, chapters. It's on the separate tab, let's make it a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and click this button, which is add. And what you want to do is you want to have your video actually open, so you can actually see where you want the chapter markers to be. So let's go ahead and open up the video. Alright, so here we go. We're good. We're good. This is uh, echoing, so, so let's go ahead and put it in the video. mute this. All right. So let's make our first chapter so people can jump back to the beginning pretty easy. Make this window a little bit smaller. The first chapter will be at 000, and we'll call that start because why not? S T A R T. Press OK, and look, we have chapter number one. Um, if you make another chapter, if you have to go back and uh, make another chapter, you can just go ahead and make it, and it will arrange them by time. So. I'll explain what I mean in a second. So, all right, let's see where we're going for another chapter. All right, let's call this one boot up. Is it 27 seconds? So we'll add a new chapter, and here's the timestamps: uh, hours, minutes, seconds, and then uh, milliseconds or thousandths of a second. I don't remember exactly which one, but it's the next smallest. All right, so this where we want to have a chapter marker is. 27 seconds. So we go to the second to last group and type in 27. It will automatically overwrite the zeros. And we have to give it a name. You can put space if you wanted, if you don't want to have a name, but we'll say boot up. Go ahead and press OK. And let's go find our next chapter. And we'll call this installation at 228 so 228 let's call it install less letters boom all right and let's go back to our video fast forward a bit I forgot this is all in real time all right, we'll do next one called reboot at 2430 because that's when I restart my computer. So basically you just want to go through your video, you can fast forward if you want. 
and find where all the parts you want to put chapters are and they just type it in here it's pretty simple we'll do one more just for example we'll do two more so I can show you what I mean by it go by um, if you mess up and you need to add a chapter in between two other ones oops I forgot where that was Is it 22 24 30 let's just do that 24 you don't even have to press tab or anything, just keep typing numbers and it will advance the cursor for you automatically. Now let's say I actually missed a point in my video and I need to go back. Let's go ahead and miss a spot. We'll miss the boot up and go straight to settings. So let's say we want to have one here called settings and we miss the boot up. So let's go ahead and skip to this one which is 2621. This one we have to call it reboot, sorry. You have to keep pressing enter, otherwise it won't add it. Alright, so this one is called settings. It's 2621. So, S-E-T-T-I-N-G-S. -T -T and 2621. Now we're like, oh no, we forgot to add in the um, chapter marker for reset. If we add another chapter marker, it'll be out of place, right? Because we already have it building up. No, it will not. It automatically organizes them for you. So let's go to the part where it started up, which is right here. As you see, no signal, which means the computer's restarting. 24, 34, see what happens. 24, 34, and we'll call it boot up two, and boom. See, it automatically puts it at chapter number five and puts it in between reboot and settings. So, I mean, I could go through the rest of this video and add more stuff. I think you guys got the idea. So, uh, I'm not sure if you have to close the video file, but I'm going to go ahead and close it so you can see. So, I just in case. So, close the video file. Move this over to my other monitor. And now you got to click save. Wait a few seconds. It's not actually re rendering the video, it's just importing it. And now let's go ahead and open up the video file here. And resize it so you can actually see the bottom. As you see here, we actually got chapter markers with titles. So we can skip between them, I believe. No, that's the skip playlist. Here we go. So we can skip to between the individual parts of the video quickly and easily. This is very nice for long videos. <laughs> this video here is an hour long. So having easy to go through chapter markers makes everything a lot easier. So okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Again, if you have any questions or you want to see a, um, another video uh, on a different topic, go ahead and post a comment uh, about what you want to see me do next, and I'll see if I can get that in a video. Alright, see you guys all, see all you guys later. Uh, have a great day. Bye.